Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Team of Fire Reviews. My name is Johnny Boy and I'm here with... Me. Me as in Daz. Uh, Daz and I are here to review SummerSlam 2015. Uh, it went live August 23rd. Really? 23rd? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so started out started out with uh, introducing the host of SummerSlam, John fucking Stewart. I hate him so much. Yeah. Uh, this was bad. John Stewart was rambling and ranting about how we should respect the wrestlers. And what the fuck are you talking about, John Stewart? And Mick Foley came out, and apparently John Stewart called Mick Foley to take care of Brock Lesnar because he was sad and that Brock Lesnar beat Undertaker. You see, you should respect all these wrestlers because of how hard they work, except for Brock Lesnar because we wanted Undertaker to win. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Okay, whatever. Uh, Makes sense. King called that a cheap pop. And then uh, they were pretty much there just to put over Lesnar, which is fine and all, except for just, just these superstars need respect. But Brock Lesnar, you motherfucker, Mick Foley's here to whoop your ass because you beat The Undertaker. It's like, what? <laughs> then we had the first main event of the night. It was Randy Orton versus Sheamus, once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Why are they fighting on pay per view? <sighs> because they just can't. There are no ideas for them, too. Because. Uh. The <laughs> because Orton and the Money in the Bank winner had to be on the show. That's why they needed a match. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, Orton, he tried to go for an RKO right in the middle of right at the start of the match, and then uh, Sheamus had a promo in the middle of the match, and this dastardly main eventer heel said, You look stupid, not me. So props to him. He's sure showing the crowd how to be hated. He's been uh, doing that heel stuff, you know? He said, You will respect the Hawk, you look stupid. Orton sweeped him off the table and uh, dropped kick to the outside, and they started brawling, which led in the ring, and Sheamus. Walking, uh, working over Orton now. Orton, uh, he got a cut above his eye, and, uh, <laughs> they just went, uh, brawling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and a bro kicked into the corner, then Orton kind of stumbled out of the corner, then Shane hit the ropes and hit him with another bro kick for three count. I gave that two and a half stars. I gave it, like, one. Maki, zero point five. I've, I've, see, I've seen it too much. Uh, we got a New Day promo. I loved him. I loved him. Yeah, New Day's great. You know, you know what Seth Rollins' outfit? You know what the colors were? Power Rangers. No, it, it was white and gold. That's what Seth Rollins' outfit is. You know what the New Day's new outfit is? White no, and gold. Oh, oh Did yeah. You see that they took a picture together with all their belts? Yeah, it yeah. confirmed that Seth fucking Rollins is in the New Day. <laughs> that is why, that's my conclusion, that Seth Rollins has to be in the motherfucking New Day. Has to, it makes no other sense why they'd be wearing the same colors. And like, the same kind of outfit, whatever. Uh, they had this awesome hip-hop fucking promo, they started rapping and shit like that. New Day's fucking awesome, their most entertaining tag team in the entire tag team division right now. Everyone else is just fucking jobbers. Uh, definitely dropped the ball with Titus O'Neil and Darren Young. It was not their time to become tag team champions because of how hot New Day was at the time. So, whatever. Uh, right at the beginning of the match, the New Day, they try to pin themselves. Uh, I, I, I love that. No T on this match, but nothing that really matters till The match didn't start to get good until near the end of the match. Uh, I know they fucked up in the match. Um... I know Xavier had to interfere so the Bull could fuck with, fucking beat him up or whatever, and vice versa, so they beat on each other, Bull and Xavier started to fight. Well, uh, Los Matador jumps on the uh, top turnbuckle, and Sin Cara starts to fight him up there, and then Callisto joins him, and they're about to do the double suplex spot where someone comes over there and does a uh, powerbomb on them too while they suplex the Matador as they're getting powerbombed, but... This fucking matador, I don't know who it was, fell. <laughs> he fell off before they could get the spot started. And fucking Sin Cara throws his hands up in the air and like, What the fuck, man? <laughs> it was so great. He's like, What the fuck, dude? You just messed me up. 
Sin Cara, like, fucked up two Hurricane Ranas in the match, and that one. I know, like, the old Sin Cara fucked shit up, but this new Sin Cara is fucking shit up. Sin Cara is obviously a curse. <laughs> and then, then, I love this. Then the second Matador jumps up and replaces the other Matador and starts getting his ass beat now. <laughs> up in the same fucking turnbuckle. And then, it, um, it was just so shitty. Just that they tried to fucking fix the spot and just got so dumb. Um, Kofi, he, uh, he tags one of them in while that's going on, and then he, uh, pins one of the Matadoras after they got spine bustered by Titus, and Titus got thrown out of the ring while Kofi stole the pin, and I don't even think the ref saw the tag or, like, did the thing where he, somebody tagged in or anything, so that's fuck you on your part. The refereeing sucked in general for SummerSlam. But I gave the match three stars, even though so many fuck ups happened, and but the end of the match is pretty damn good. I fuck up was always fun. Yeah. What'd you think of it? <sighs> um, <coughs> I think mean, with New Day lately is amazing. Yes. Like yeah, it, it used to be so bad, but like I think it's just the the, the heel he Big has his facial expressions for everything. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Because he's just, after every match, he's hot and sweaty and gross looking. He just sticks out his tongue and looks at his face, his gross face. And Xavier Woods never shuts his fucking mouth. And Kofi's just kind of there to give support back up, which is awesome. Kofi's fucking face, every time they come out, is weird. Is re Ever see it? Yeah. It's like a little pedophile look. It's, uh, New Day's definitely great. We can, uh, concur to that. Uh, John Stewart, uh, buries Green Arrow and, uh, Neville. And uh, Taker walks across the screen and then misses his cue for the fog starting to settle. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. Uh, then we had our third match of the night. We had Rusev versus Dolph Ziggler. That was shit. Did you uh, see Lana's new suit? Yep. Yep, it's all Dolph Ziggler side. Yep. Uh, Cole says, Lana is done with the business suits. What is she wearing, Cole? What is she wearing? <laughs> oh, what is she wearing? If someone was colorblind, she'd be wearing the exact same fucking thing. <laughs> Why hasn't Dolph Ziggler dyed his hair yet? <coughs> Why would he dye his hair? Because he's been dyeing his hair since his fucking came back in like 09. Has he? I don't know. Blonde, he's been blonde. What, what's his hair color now? It's like brown. Is it? Yeah, it's going back to his original hair color. I, I didn't know it. Rollins hasn't dyed his hair either. Yeah, I know, I know it's that. Yeah. Uh, okay, you remember Extreme Rules, or maybe it was Payback. I think it was Payback at the end of uh, Sheamus and Dolph Ziggler's match. Dolph Ziggler yeah. gave this huge headbutt to Sheamus, and he just busted himself open hard way. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Okay, why well, at the beginning of the match... Dolph Ziggler's first offensive move is to headbutt shit. Headbutt <laughs> Rusev. Like, what the fuck would have happened if he just got fucking busted wide open? Like, what a fucking oh. idiot, man. <laughs> Too much bumps to the head. Literally. We had an awesome uh, Ziggler super kick. Uh, I, so I thought this myself. I'm like, maybe Rusev stopped winning because Lana wasn't there to save Rusev Crush. And then um, we all know some rain they ain't very good at that. Uh, JBL said if you're small, you won't win any belts. Pretty yeah. Much buried uh, anyone else who's not big. Pretty sure Rey Mysterio beat him for an Intercontinental Championship that made him retire in yeah, like yeah, a few seconds. Fired, yeah. Yeah? Ah, yeah. No yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, JBL. He's such a fucking dick. Like, either, just, just, either just know your shit. Either man fed him that line, or something happened like that. Or that's just him being fucking stupid. Uh, we get, uh, Rusey working over Ziggler now. Ziggler is some kind of hipster steampunk gay biker. Uh. I liked, uh, I really liked, uh, Ziggler's defense. It was really good, his moveset for him being defense, and... Rusev's offense was pretty awesome. Rusev uh, beat the shit out of Ziggler. Ziggler got a couple moves in in between. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, ended up being a double count out. They uh, 
head to the outside and start fucking around out there and they can't get back in time so they get a double count out and I guess they're gonna like, maybe lead to a gimmick match or a mixed tag team match. We get a post match brawl. Uh, look like a dog and pony show. We got the guys trying to hold on to the women because they're trying to fight. And then uh, King says, "What a match!" <laughs> God damn, King. God fucking damn it. Even better because Ziggler and Rusev are good, but uh, they won't let it go any further. So two and three quarters. Stars. I'm gonna give it a pill. As Rusev, yeah, Rusev, Rusev bores the fucking crap out of me. We got a we got Wade Barrett and Stardust versus uh, Arrow and Neville. This match went on way too long, in my, in my opinion. Uh, Stardust wants arrows. Commentary sucked. Uh, Stardust. I thought this match was gonna be a lot better than it actually would have been. Yeah, I think it went on for too long. I was surprised that, that uh, I think he hurt himself in his mat in the match because when something happened, he fell. Like he his face went down, like but he wouldn't let his knee touch. Like he was just he straightened out his leg and it looks like his knee got fucked up and he wouldn't let him fall all the way down. Like he slowly kind of lowered himself to the ground. So it looked like Neville kind of hurt himself. During this match, they're calling Neville the Red Arrow because Steve Amell plays a character named Green Arrow. Oh. And then JBL calls Neville the. The man that forgot gravity. Man, that gravity forgot. He, JBL says the man that forgot gravity in the middle of this fucking match. Because JBL is fucking, fucking intelligent. Uh, Steve Amell, he did pretty, have a pretty damn good dive. Barrett got his ass beat in this match. He got two fucking red arrows. He got a big dive from Steve Amell. Uh, they pinned Barrett. So the storyline will probably go on since Barrett was penned by Neville. Yeah. And we had the Intercontinental Championship match. We had. Uh, oh, how many stars did you give that last match? The. The Red Arrow Green Arrow match, yeah? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think I think it's more of a, a publicity thing. Because, like, oh, look, Steve Mel's here. Come on. How many, how many fucking stars? Two and a half. Two and three quarters. Uh, Intercontinental Championship match. Uh, I just matched three stars. It was pretty short, but I really liked it though. I had Ryback versus the Big Show versus The Miz. Uh, um, during this, the, whatever they were calling Miz, George Clooney, and Gregory Peck. No one understood these references because everyone else is a fucking idiot. Uh, excited to see Ryback back since his knee was all gross for a while. Uh, Miz immediately runs to the outside of the match. Uh, Big Show working over Ryback, and then. Uh, Miz and Ryback start to work together, uh, trying to. Big Show just does, uh, he did, I think he, he was irritated with fans as of recently because people say he's boring and they don't want him on television or something like that and he's trying to be less stale so he did a fucking splash that kind of sucked in the middle of this match for some reason. I don't know. Ryback was killing Miz and Big Show. Killing them. Uh, but until he got a choke slam on Ryback on the Miz, and Miz was down, did choke slam on Ryback on the him. Ryback with a spine buster on the Big Show, which is fucking awesome. Tried to do a me hook finisher on the Big Show, and Miz runs in, does the skull crushing finale. And I thought this was the finish. I was like, oh my god, if Miz fucking wins, he goes for the pin on Ryback, kicks out, goes for the pin on the uh, Big Show, kicks out, pin on Ryback, kicks out, does this for a little bit. And then, uh, KO's Miz, Big Show, KO's Miz, and, uh, Big Show then gets a uh, clothesline out of the ring by Ryback, but Ryback just pinned Miz because he was KO'd from Ryback, from Big Show's punch, so, I had the match three stars, uh, short, effective match, pretty darn good for how short it was, though. You know? Yeah. Um, uh... Again, another match that didn't tickle tickle my being. I I thought this definitely uh, it passed my expectations. Just 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 fire Big Show. Just let him retire. Just just I don't know. Just get rid of him. If you 
could, if you could choose, if you had to do one more, one more like storyline match with, like, who would it be with? Him. Um. I don't know. I don't know. Would you, would you want to see maybe like a like a big show in Kane versus the Dudley Boys? That would be interesting. That would be pretty good. But I, I, I'm pretty sure that's been done before. Uh, maybe, because Big Show and Kane started work, didn't, start didn't working together since, since like 05 or something. That's right around the time they left. Or maybe it was 05 or 06. I don't remember. But uh, next up, John Stewart was bitching about Lesnar winning. Then it was a year and a half ago. Not a, a couple months ago, so I don't know why they tried to make this irrelevant. Uh, they tried to hype up the match because John Stewart was pissed off. Paul Heyman said, "I guess we couldn't get David Letterman to host the show." That made me laugh. Fuck John Stewart. Next match: Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, and Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. This match was fucking awesome uh, for what it was so far. I think it was. Uh, yeah. Then they clean Bray pin. Uh, clean Bray. Yeah. Pin. Pin. <laughs> pin. Bray Wyatt clean. Yeah. Um, it, it was a really good match. They they were very uh, they didn't give a fuck. They just kept they just wanted to fight, and that's what they did. They just fought each other. They just fought each other, brawled everywhere, dives, fucking. It was really good. It's the best type of match. Yeah. Just no love. Just literally you want to kill beat the crap out of your opponent. Yeah, I will be excited to see the storyline furthered. I think. They should have saved Braun Strowman for next month so they could uh, get them two into a gimmick match or something like that. That was just really weird. Why? Why? Why, why Braun Strowman? Yeah. Because I think Eric Roman is injured. Yeah, no, but he's going to be back someday. Yeah. <laughs> they won't have anything for him. They'll have him go to. They'll sign him to TNA. <laughs> Uh, Wyatt, he went to go for his sister Abigail on Dean Ambrose, and, uh, Dean Ambrose reversed it by just headbutting the shit out of Bray Wyatt when he tried to kiss his head or whatever, and hit him with the dirty deeds, and he tags in Roman Reigns, spears him with the pen, great match, I give this match three and a quarter stars. I give it two. What the fuck is with your shitty ratings? I don't know. Why did, what just... did you watch recently that has been so fucking good that you hate these matches for? CZW. You been watch a lot of fuck. Yeah, you've been watching CZW lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. All right. We're here's at we're at the two hour mark. Right here, and this match was the belt versus belt match is John Cena versus Seth Rollins for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and the United States Championship. That's like what pissed me off, right? What, what really pissed me off? It was going to be an excellent match. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, okay, whatever. We'll, we'll, whatever that. But like, just two more matches after this, and this is the World Heavyweight Championship. Why is the World Heavyweight Championship not the main event? I don't know. I think I think it was. I was definitely okay with uh, Taker and Brock. Yeah, but I saw my. Yeah, I saw my. Well, well, I'm okay why with that. Why is it this Let me tell you why this didn't end the show is because they didn't want to leave everyone pissed off with a fuck finish like that. That's why. But they're used to doing that. I and know they, they are. The I end know. of it, fuck finish. I I know exactly. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I think. That's why I thought is because because I heard of the John Stewart thing before I finished. I was like, all right, fucking great. That's why they had this show, this thing go on last. But it's fucking Undertaker and Brock Lesnar. I don't really care. I was excited for it. Both ended up just not going that well, for, in my opinion. Could have been a lot better because of the finishes, but uh, John Cena versus Seth Rollins. Uh, just Rollins had new gold and white gear. Uh, Rollins is in the Power Ranger. Day. When Seth Rollins lifted up his championship belt during his entrance, the fucking crowd just cheered so Yay. loud at the top of their feet. They love this man as their world heavyweight champion. They love it. And I was just kind of like, I remember going like 10 minutes in this match. I was like, oh my god, there's no Jamie Noble. There's no Joey Mercury. There's no Kane. This is fucking a good match between John Cena and Seth Rollins. This is a good match. 
This is a world championship match. This is what a world championship, ma championship match should be. It should be two men giving it all they fucking got. And then I'm like, I remembered the finish. That it's going to be a fuck finish. And I was like, oh yeah, fuck. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, really liked it when Seth Rollins he did like three suicide dives in a row on the Cena. I just thought this match was fucking awesome. It was really cool. The fin yeah. yeah, at the finishes. That was a really good spot where Cena caught Rollins leg in midair when he tried to jump off the top rope, caught him in midair, put him in the SDF. Uh, there's a fuck up top rope AA where he was carrying Seth Rollins up there, but uh, Seth Rollins kind of rolled out and fell and uh, turned it into a turnbuckle power bomb into the corner. Yeah. Uh, what did I say? Uh, Rollins reversed a uh, reversed and got Cena into an AA, and they just countered each other's moves for a little bit. John Cena got them in, got him into a figure four leg lock. Uh, eventually reversed it, got him into that for a while, then uh, then. What does John Cena do with his hurt legs? He well, he climbs the turnbuckle. Why not? <laughs> Limping, climbs the turbo turnbuckle. Ron superplex him, and uh, John Cena kind of—I don't remember what happened. Whatever. Uh, ref got knocked down. Cena pins Rollins, and they're like, "Well, John Cena just pinned Seth Rollins. That's a 15 count." Well, like, does if I was a wrestler, like a real wrestler, say it was real. And the referee was knocked down, and John Cena just laid on top of me. I I wouldn't kick out in three seconds. I would only kick out if I heard two slaps. Like, why would I waste my energy and kick out for no reason? <laughs> like, I'm just gonna fucking sit there and regain energy. I don't care if he's on me. And they're like, well, he would just pin him. Like, fuck you. You're stupid. Yeah. Uh. Then Rollins knees John Cena in the face the same uh, way that he fucked up his nose last time. Then John Cena covers his face because, like, oh my god, did he break his nose again? Oh, who knows? This was fucking stupid. John Stewart comes down with the chair and then he acts like he's gonna hit Rollins, act like he's gonna hit Cena, act like he's gonna hit Rollins, act like he's gonna hit Cena, hit Cena! He throws the chair on the ground and uh, Seth Rollins hits a pedigree on John Cena onto the chair, pins Cena. Three and a half stars without the finish. What a swerve. Uh, they call John Stewart the SummerSlam criminal. No one knows why he did it. That's best for business. Shout out to John Stewart for putting over Rollins and Cena in this main event here. I'm really glad that Stewart was able to make it down here and uh, do that. <coughs> Fuck Stewart. We had Just Team Bad versus Team Bella versus Team PCB. Team PCB won. Uh, can you can just call him PCB? Can just call, you know, if you want to call him PCB, just call him Paige, Charlotte, and Becky. Just, just. I know. We gotta have fucking. Well, you can't hashtag that. Oh, sorry. So, so yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna, you wanna talk about the match? No, not really. All right. Yeah. Uh, we got I, Cesaro versus Kevin Owens. As I said, I enjoyed it, but. I enjoyed it also, but. At the end of the day, it it, it is a demon's match, and it's just. Cesaro and Kevin Owens is actually not the Divas match, Des. <laughs> <sighs> Owens acts like a Diva. I love it, though. You know how, how you put over Kevin Owens right here? You uh, bring him down, and then you show him a clip of Virgil DeVette kicking his ass at NXT TakeOver and losing. That's how you put this fucking guy over. <laughs> like, here's a clip of Kevin Owens losing. All right, back to the action. <laughs> like, okay. Start out, trade punches right away, and European uppercuts. Uh, great brawling and dives on the outside for quite a while. Owens kicking Cesaro's ass. Huge somersault leg drop by uh, Kevin Owens with a spinning neckbreaker. You get your Olay chance for Sami Zayn. And then, throughout all of this, you can see that Kevin Owens, he's getting pretty tired out right now because of all that shit. And then uh, you get... You are tired, Chance, Kevin Owens, and uh, he's climbing this uh, fucking turnbuckle, and he screams out to them. He says, "I know I'm tired." <laughs> this guy, I feel so bad because he is overweight, but he's an amazing athlete at the same time, and they're just gonna use this "you are a tired" chance against him. Like things aren't going his fucking way. People think he's too fat. People think he's too big. Kevin Dunn is making people zoom in on the signs that say Fat Owens Fat and shit like that because they think it's fucking hilarious to make fun of this guy's weight. 
It sucks. I wish Kevin Owens was treated better. Though, I know you don't like him. Yeah, I don't like him, but I'm kind of fucking fat and all that. Yeah, I'm not going to judge him on his physical appearance. But the guy's an amazing athlete so far. He's put on some wonderful matches. Uh, you got a Cesaro gut wrench suplex from the top rope. That was awesome. Then Cesaro with the springboard uppercut to him. Then uh, he did ten swings. And why does the crowd chant, like, one, two, three? Like, they count how many seconds he does a swing. Why don't they count how many swings? Because the crowd in Brooklyn are fucking retarded. Yeah, and then, um... Cesaro put him in the sharpshooter, and then, uh... Kevin Owens eventually gets the ropes, and then this ref counts. One! Two! Three! Four! This is the slowest fucking slow count I've ever seen, like, in a, in a, like a mid-card match. I... Why was he just, just, why, just the refereeing in this entire show sucked. <laughs> it was like, why did you slow count him fucking touching the goddamn fucking ropes? Cole says the entire match is a train wreck. Uh, Cesaro gets rope crotched kind of thing. Then he does that suplex where he kind of turns in midair and turns into a slam, sort of. Then a pop-up powerbomb with the win. Kevin Owens wins. Thank God. Fucking A. Kevin Owens is amazing. Then the main event of the night, the dead man, Undertaker, versus Brock Lesnar. Talk about this match, Des. If anyone, anyone thought a taker was going to win this match losing, just, just fuck off. Especially you. Did you, did you think he's going to lose? No, I thought Brock was going to win. Yeah? Well, Seriously? Yeah, I thought... Undertaker was gonna lose. No, no, no. Uh, the, like, the guy is. I think if he. Like, I know it kind of fucked up Lesnar's reputation, but if I, you I make. I just remembered that Undertaker lost. Or Lesnar won. Or lost. Like, what do you mean? In my what? head, I thought Undertaker lost. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because of the fucking. The, way, the, the finish, is it? <laughs> yeah, because I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> All I think of is tapping out right there, and then the timekeeper ringing the bell. What a, re what a fucking idiot. He was like, hey, I ring the bell. Not you, motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, I ring the bell. You time keep. Okay. And then he turns around. Undertaker low blows Brock Lesnar. That's a fucking DQ! <laughs> it's a fucking DQ, man. I, I guess you weren't happy with the way it finished. No. I thought it was stupid. I was really happy the way it finished. Because I... Okay, okay. Yeah. This guy, Taker, he's built such a fucking career for himself, and then he taps out. Undertaker tapping out? I just want to let Brock break my arm. Like, imagine, like, you just, you just, that, that's like fucking... Kurt Angle. Look, that, 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 that's like John Cena tapping out Kurt Angle to the ankle lock. That's exactly that. Exactly that. That's exactly that. Um, it, it may not be for you. Yelling at this match. Yeah. At each other. Uh, Undertaker went through that announce table like champ, I have to say. Took Fair play to him. Fucking 50 years old and still going to announce tables. Fucking A. Sting better go through like two announce tables. I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I hope here, here's what happens at Night of Champions Death. Sting is going to come out. Seth Rollins is come out. They're gonna fight for 15 minutes, and then you're gonna hear the bunch of fireworks and the Dudley Boys come out. And then they 3D sting through a table, and they uh, lay him out for Seth Rollins, and then he wins. <laughs> exactly, exactly that. Exactly that, yeah. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for Ray. Ray, um, Sting, Sting and Rollins come out, Ray. Yeah. And John Cena is still pissed off that he hit that and then we did win. Comes charging down the ring. Oh, that's slip. so John Cena. He's such yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking loser. Slips over his um, untied shoelaces and breaks his face off the ring. Yeah, it just lays there for a bit and then the match ends in no contest because John Cena. Got <laughs> <hurt>. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this match is a no contest. 
<laughs> because the guy that's not even involved is hurt. <laughs> exactly. But John Cena fucked up the finish, so no contest. God's sake, John Cena. God damn, God damn Cena. Um, after Brock hit him with that uh, F5 and table, Brock got back in the ring, took Undertaker to the count of nine to get back in the ring, shoots uh, cameras at Lesnar now. He's spilling blood all over the fucking place. And then Brock... Did he blade himself? I don't know. I think so, because it's not definitely hard way, because he hit the fucking turnbuckle. Though, Brock Lesnar goes all out when he does matches though like he does not let up he is not safe with himself seems like i think he might have, i doubt that it's hard way but i think he played himself it looked like he played himself yeah that's what i think but oh, uh come on. brock had this worried very worried face when undertaker got in the ring and then uh he yells at taker says i'll kill you you son of a bitch i'll kill you Taker looks up at him and says, you're going to have to. Picks up Brock Lesnar by the throat. Choke slams him. Picks him up. Hits the tombstone pile driver. And ladies and gentlemen, a kick out at two. Both laying there side by side. Uh, Taker's uh, feet uh, is next to Brock Lesnar's head and vice versa. Brock lays up, starts laughing. Taker lays up, looks like he's mockingly laughing. I can't tell. They start brawling. Um, they move over to the corner. Brock stands up in front of Taker while he's back he's against the corner. He's got him in the Kimura lock. And for some reason, the referee is not counting the hold. And that should have been a DQ because it, I'm pretty sure he held it longer than there for five seconds. But okay. But uh, he power bombs him. I think he did the last ride. And then uh, Brock hit his second F5. Lesnar has it his third F5. Taker gets Lesnar in the Hell's Gate. He pretty much had Taker pinned. Like he wasn't counting. Like the referee wasn't counting. Like this is like the many times that they got fucked over. Like Taker's shoulders were on the mat. And the referee's like, oh, his shoulders were on the mat. Duh. That's why he's one counting. And then they'd point out the referee being a dumb fuck, which I don't know why. I, I think we already established that. Yep. And then, that the referee uh, is a dumb fuck. Pin, uh, reverses it, gets him in the Kaimora lock. Brock's shoulders are down as well. The bell rings. And then the referee says over to the timekeeper, says, I was counting one, but but uh, payment, Heyman's like, he tapped the fuck out, dude. And he's like, no, he didn't. Like, I didn't see it. Go back to the match. No, I thought that usually if a time stoppage happened, they'd have to go back into that person's maneuver. Doesn't that happen? And they say, like, go. Hasn't that happened, like, in TNA or something? Yeah, TNA. Don't you know about well, TNA? I'm just saying, okay. I don't know why they... This is just fucking stupid. Then, Tigger gets a low blow on Lesnar. Gets him in the uh, Hell's Gate. Then, uh... He's got... Lester in this Hell's Gate, Lester gives him the middle finger, then slowly fades away and loses by tap out. Pretty much that was submission because he didn't tap out. Gets that match three that... and three quarter stars, Taker limp back, limped all the way back to the uh, back. Uh, Heyman said, announces Brock Lesnar as the winner, the Beast Incarnate, and the Conqueror, and Brock's just pissed off. Then he says that he's the winner and just looks happy as can be because fucking Heyman says so. Pretty good match. Uh, Would have been a lot better without the referee being a dumb fuck. Actually, being a referee. What what did what did you think of the match, Dennis? Finishes. <clears throat> you hate the finish. I don't I don't know why you hate the finish. I love the finish. I think the finish would have worked if they didn't pin each other multiple times before, and I think it would have worked if. Like, Heyman was up on the side talking to the referee, and Undertaker low-blowed him, uh, when the yeah, referee this, wasn't looking. This is the WWE. What do, whatever, what do they do? I can't do, just do let them pass right? because of WWE. I just uh, can't you let can. them fucking pass. I want them to do shit correctly. Like, 
I, I'm not gonna fucking explain myself. Fuck John Stewart. Fuck Nick Patrick. They can <laughs> suck my dick. I'm done reviewing SummerSlam. Ah, <laughs> uh, so you know, I've, you weren't a fan, though. No, it was good. <laughs> oh no, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, fuck them though. Um, right, since I updated Windows 10, yeah? But that... <laughs> oh, I still doing it, sorry? Yeah! <laughs> oh, crap. I thought... <laughs> when you this said... This is review of Windows 10. <laughs> when you said fucking, we were done, I thought we were done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Now, we are done. Goodbye. Oh.